is 5,000 years old. The products, timeless. Ceramic pots that have served mankind for millenniums, at first for storing grains, and later, and now, as works of art. This pot, fired at 1,900 degrees, is about to be smoked. Modified it for what I enjoy doing the most, which is very large pieces of ceramic, and uh, the kind of special effects we can get by smoking the glazes. The results are unique, in particular the large pots that have made Gilberg world-renowned. It's very exciting to me to do this. We don't know till it's all over. They frequently crack because of all of the stress they go through. Gilberg has been pursuing his dramatic art in an equally dramatic setting in the hills above Malibu for 35 years. It all begins with a glob of nurtured clay smashed onto the potter's wheel. It's almost like yoga and meditation all at the same time. It also takes raw strength, focused by years of experience. Started out with the what we call centering, then I opened it, and now I'm pulling the the walls up. It's the same whether you're making a a teacup or a or a 500 pound jar. Same process, just a little more difficult. Heating the clay draws off the moisture and makes it easier to work. Finally, the head of the vase is finished, attached to the body and trimmed. People are always asking how these pots happen, how they're so big, and it's really kind of simple. I can throw a shape as deep as my reach and, uh, and then put these things together in sections. What distinguishes Gilberg ceramics, in addition to their sizes and shapes, are their glazes. What I'm after here in this pot is, is ocean colors. And it's close to what I want, but I'm probably going to do a little bit more. The secret is in the clay. The color is uh, basically from copper. And there's, there's lithium in it and some feldspar and other things that create what we want out of a glaze. Nice piece. Sam Hall Kaplan, Fox 11 News.